Welcome back to another episode of All About the Brand. I'm your host, Courtney Sargent. Thank you so much for listening. This is one of hundreds. This is one of hundreds of episodes of All About the Brand podcast that I'm going to do. I'm actually very excited to do this and I'm doing this because I need to do it and I don't need to do it. I don't need to do it because I don't need to build a funnel. I don't need to do it because I don't need to gain followers. I don't need to do it because I don't need to increase my personal brand. I don't need to gain brand authority. I don't need to drive traffic to anywhere. I don't need to drive traffic to a product to sell. I don't need to do this podcast to make money. I don't need to do this podcast because everybody else is doing one and and I feel like I need to do one. I'm not doing this podcast for any uh, personal gain right now. Um, I'm not doing this podcast so that I can build it up and get sponsorships. I'm not doing this podcast because I'm a branding expert. I don't need to do this podcast, but I do need to do this podcast because I'm full. I do need to do this podcast because there is so much information inside of me that I just have to get out there. I I do need to do this podcast because I don't want to die with all of the wealth of knowledge, advice and information inside of me. Now, I'm not a morbid person. I don't talk about death all the time, but I am very conscious and aware that we all have an expiration date and I don't want my expiration date to arrive and I have all of this locked up inside of me. I don't know who originally said it, but the richest place in the world is the graveyard because so many people die with their ideas and their dreams and their visions inside of them. The ideas that could have made them millions of dollars, the aspirations that could have led them to become the next fill in the blank, right? Um, I don't want to be one of those people. When I die, when I pass over, when this physical body has taken its last breath, I want to be completely empty. I want to live my life and drive. But unfortunately, for so long, I myself have been stuck in neutral. And I recognize that I realize that. And now I'm doing something about it, dog on it. <laughs> I actually wrote a book called Stuck in Neutral, How to Live Your Life in Drive. And so now I am taking my own advice and living my life in drive because for a long time I started to become someone else, uh, someone I didn't necessarily want to become, but needed to become in order to accomplish what I needed to accomplish at the time. And I'm still becoming that person. But along that journey, I let go of my creative ways and I just got busy with life and busy with growing a company and and busy with everything else that I did not have time to create. And I allowed the the rigmarole, the busyness, the the schedule, the responsibilities of being a business owner, get in the way of being an artist. And there is a constant fight and battle between the two. (laughs) It's very difficult to be a business owner, entrepreneur, and an artist at the same time. Now, I don't mean being a creative entrepreneur. There is such a thing. I mean, being an artist, like I'm an artist. I used to be a rapper, a musician. I play uh, four instruments, keyboard, bass guitar, saxophone, and uh, a, a tad bit of guitar. Uh, so really, just really three. Um, when I was in high school, I drew, painted a lot. I'm a graphic designer. I'm a website designer. I majored in architecture in college. I'm an artist, man. Like that's the way I see myself at the end of the day. I'm an artist who happens to be an entrepreneur who happens to be a business owner. 
of multiple companies who happens to be all of this other stuff, you know, who happens to be an author who happens to be, you know, a previous national radio host who happens to be, you know, fill in the blank. But at the end of the day, I'm an artist and I'm getting back on my creative. I'm getting back to the thing that that made me me and makes me me and back to the thing that makes me happy. And so that's why I'm doing this podcast. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, too often I have started things and not finished them. I have I can execute at a very high level and I can create things at a very high level that the average person would only dream of creating. Right. It, that's the level of excellence that I can create. However, and comma, <laughs> I have a, I have allowed some perfectionism, some procrastination to seep in there, uh, some some comfortability, some second guessing myself, some doubt, some uh, low self esteem. I've allowed these things to hinder my creative, my creativity, and I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to allow anything like. Even in this moment, right, like in my software that I'm recording this, I just press the mark uh, M for the marker to go back and correct, correct something that, you know, word I just messed up. But I'm not going to do that. It's going to be raw. This this podcast is going to be raw. I'm going to do minimal editing unless I, you know, bump a table or kids bust in the room and knock on the door or something like that. Like that's just where I am in this space right now. This is where I need to be. This is the space that I need to be in in order to get out what's in me. I have so much in me, you guys. Like, for example, this podcast, I have enough content to last two and a half years worth of a weekly podcast show. I'm going to let that sink in. Two and a half years of content that I can publish every single week without skipping a beat even longer than that. Like I was on the radio for several years, uh, I think uh, three years, I believe. And I have every single episode on the radio that I've ever recorded. The ep- the, the radio show, the first one, it was called E Square Radio. E Square stands for Empowering Entrepreneurs. That was a brand I created. This was back in, uh, what is this? 2020, we moved to Texas, 2016. So, This was back in like 2013, 2012, actually, uh, actually, yeah, 2012, because I started a radio show. I mean, I started a magazine called E Square Magazine, and then I went on the radio, did a radio show called E Square Radio Show. It was business and entrepreneurship based, talked about those topics. And then I uh, got promoted and did another show called the Up Together Radio Show, and I talked about, you know, a lot of stuff. My life's motto is let's make it better by going up together. And I just love to empower people and help people along the way, share my knowledge and my information. And that's what this podcast is going to be about as well. So it's called all about the brand. And so there's uh, back to my point. There's just so much in me that I have to get out. And so I'm going to do my absolute best to get it out. The app, my absolute fastest and be efficient, uh, but also be professional at the same time. I'm going to try not to put uh, too much superfluous information and things in it. So it's just going to be real, raw and relevant. The three R's. It has to be real. It has to be raw. It has to be relevant. I'm going to give it to you like I like I have it. And I've you know, I'm not going to give you my resume right now. You'll learn more about who I am. But just know there's a lot of gold mines inside of me and Again, I don't need to do this podcast for any reason, but I do need to do it because I ne- I know that there are people out there who need what I know. And there are people out there who need this information and I want to give it to them. I want I want to share my knowledge with the world. If you know people have a problem or need an answer to a question and you know that you have the answer and not share it, that is irresponsible. Irresponsible and it's wrong is immoral and that is why i need to do this show because i know i have the answers to people's problems many of the problems that people have today many of the questions i would say rather than problems like my phone right now it says my my screen um my my screensaver 
that's not the right word. What is this called? My desktop wallpaper. There you go. On my iPhone. It says, I am the answer. And it's in green, the background. I am the answer. And I am the answer to so many people's questions. And it's not because, oh, Courtney is just, you know, on his high horse and Courtney is this or that. But I recognize who I am. Like nobody can tell me like you can't convince me that I'm not a genius. And, and, and listen to me when I say this. Don't turn it off. Listen to me when I say this. I'm not saying this because I have the big head or I'm prideful or haughty or I just think I'm all of that in a bag of chips. No, I say that because I've gone through years and years and years of hard work, of studying my crafts, of dedication, of late nights, of insomnia, like just being up, right? Doing projects for free, doing work for free, giving away stuff, you know, like, man, I I cannot count. I cannot count the number of projects that I have done, the number of things that I have done that would equal, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars of free work. So when I say that I am the answer, it's because I've been through a lot professionally and personally. I'll maybe tell you my, I'll tell you my story in the next episode. I want to keep these around 10 minutes. I'm already almost at 12 minutes. So I'm going to, I'm going to stop talking. But as you can see, I got a lot to say. I have a lot to say. So uh, all about the brand podcast. This one is about personal branding. And I, you know what? I think I may, you know, do another one about personal development, you know, about being a father, about being the absolute best human being that you can be. So um, I've said enough. I just needed to get this out. <sighs> Let me take another deep breath. <sighs> do that with me. <sighs> just relax. That's what we need to do sometimes. That's what I needed to do. I feel like a weight has is, is being lifted off to me, lifted off of me in this moment right now. So I, that right there lets me know that I'm doing the right thing. And I'm going to stop talking before I get emotional because I'm a sensitive dude. So, again, thank you guys so much for listening to this first episode. I went a little bit longer. I'm really going to try to stick to the, tw- the 10 minute mark. Um, But I just needed to talk and I needed to get this out of me. Um, So all about the brand podcast. This is episode one. Stick around. We'll have episode two next time. All right. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. And I'm wishing you all of the success that you're willing to attract into your life. Let's make it better by going up together. Peace.